This is a 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air two-door hardtop or a sports coupe. And you can see it's beautiful. It's a red and white uh, car with a red and white interior. It's got Coker wide white radials on it. And it runs and drives great. It's all stock. It's got a 265 Chevy in it. It had a three-speed manual transmission and originally now has a 350 turbo automatic. Uh, does not have power steering, but boy, it sure drives nice. And uh, we bought it locally. The guy had owned it for 20 years, 25 years, something like that. And uh, he painted it. And I did a great job on the paint job. There is some imperfections in the paint, but I would tell you it looks better than most uh, uh, paint shops I've seen, unless you're getting a really good guy. Uh, anyway, it's got some rust patches in the uh, floor pans, uh, so it's not perfect. But I gotta tell you, the body is just as straight as can be on this thing, and it just it's a great car. Now, if you have not been to Drager's Clubhouse in Burlington, Washington, you owe it to yourself to come see it. We have hundreds of things on display. I've been collecting for years and years and years, and they're here for you to see and enjoy. So I invite you to come see Dregers. Call first, because we're not always here. We've got a beautiful 1955 Bel Air two-door hardtop. Same owner for many years. He, did a, he painted it himself, and he did a really great job. And he also did a couple updates on it to make it even nicer. It's got disc brakes on the front. It has a turbo 350 uh, transmission in it, so it runs and drives better than uh, stock. Let's start it up and hear it run. This is a 265, so it's all original that way. You can see the firewalls. It's a clean car. I mean, everywhere you look, it's nice and clean. Even the underside of the hood there. Hood closes good, the grill looks good. I mean, it's a really nice car. Got wide whites on it. They're, you know, they're uh, like new on their radials. So you can just see all that. See how nice this interior is? Look at that, it's just a really nice car. The other thing I like on this car, look at these doors. That's the way you like them to close. They don't always do that. Some of them get beat up and around and stuff. This car is just really good. I got this open so I can lift it up for you. You can see the, the trunk and everything is in there. It looks good. Got the rubber mat in there. Look at how nice and solid the floor pads are and everything. It's a nice, it's, it's a really nice car. I gotta put that back in before I shut the trunk lid on it. Anyway, <coughs> uh, brake lights, turn signals. We've already determined that the uh, backup lights do not work. And that could be because of changing the transmission. We'd, I don't know. You can see again, this side's uh, really good. Look at that dash in there, huh? This is a nice car or what? Look at there. And again, door panels look good. It closes good. Is that a good looking car? Lights? Turn signals, horn, wipe, wipers, and the radio does not work, I don't think. So uh, I think you'll like this. We got it at Drager's uh, Clubhouse in Burlington, Washington. You gotta come see it. It's a great car. 206-755-2148. That's my phone number. And you can call me anytime you want. And if the phone rings and I don't answer, leave a message. This has got to be one of the prettier cars we have as far as I'm concerned. This looks really good. 
I mean, look how nice this interior is and everything. Vintag is right here where it's supposed to be. Look at how nice that dash is in there. It all looks just really good. Carpets are nice, the door panels are nice. You can just see the interior there. Back up there looks good. But look at the headliner and the door. The uh, door lights work, the uh, courtesy lights. Really nice car. I like this car. Andrew likes this car. Let's walk under this 55 Chevy and show you the underside of it. This car is pretty well stock. It's had a few mods done to it. Uh, just the transmission, it used to be a three-speed car and it's got disc brakes up front, which I'll show you here in a minute. But anyway, the, the body's in real good shape. The floor pans have some issues. They've had some patches done, but everything's solid now. There's nothing, no uh, corrosion that's, that's visible. But uh, when we get up front here, I'll show you some, some of the patches that have been done with the car. But it's just probably for moisture sitting on the floor in the carpet or something. But here we get up to the fat passenger rear there, or I guess the rear back seat area. And see those been patched on both sides. It's got the, the blue flame, uh, or blue streak, excuse me. Look like cherry bomb type of mufflers. The exhaust is in great shape. The frame's all nice and good. Um, even though it's got these patches in it, right here that kind of comes all the way across here, uh, the rockers are in good shape. I mean, it, like I said, the body is very nice, but something happened to, to, to where it held moisture inside the car and, and it uh, probably rusted on all four foot areas, I guess you'd say. But again, that this driver's side rocker is all in good shape. The drain vents are all there. That, that is patched again on, on this side, on, all the way across there. And they, that, I don't know what that hole is for, if that was for the, if it had a floor shifter at one time, but it was a three speed, which I assume is on a column because all the linkage is still up there. So I don't know what, what that access was for. And here's where the three speed tranny would have been supported by the cross member and they put a support back here and the weld on it is, looks terrible. But the frame itself, great shape. Just a, not a great weld, but the rest of the car is all solid. Got good tires all the way around. And then there's the disc brakes. I don't know if you can see the linkage here, but this is the linkage for the automatic tranny. I think they kind of made a homemade thing. They kind of supported it there with a little bracket there just to give it some stiffness. But there's the linkage right there coming off the column if you can see it and there's the bottom of the 265 it's all painted up nice and it's a turbo 350 not a power glide so it's a three-speed automatic anyway there's just looking back at the car it's not real pretty under here but it's clean We're gonna take the 55 down the freeway so you can see it going down the freeway. I mean, this thing just runs and drives great. does not work.
cold out here right now, but I have to tell you the heater is working just fine. It, I just checked it out. I got the fan going, and we're getting warm in here. We're going to go down I-5 here, southbound, so you get an idea how this thing runs and drives. driving this thing. You, you, he, Andrew's the one that went and picked it up. He, he went up there and bought it from the guy and, and drove it home about 40 miles? Uh, yeah, it was, I don't know if it was that far, 20 miles up. up 20 the miles up, uh, away from the clubhouse. But we took it down to Stanwood. You drove the oh, yeah, Ford we drove, and I yeah, drove this. Right. He drove it down to Stanwood for a, a car thing uh, that's going on and I drove the 57 uh, Woody I shouldn't say Woody, I should say 57 Ford uh, station wagon. I like driving this thing because it's all stock, but it's easy to drive. Steers easy, brakes work good. Does not have power steering, it's manual steering, but, but it's still it, easy to steer. Yep. And I think this 265 runs great too compared to, I think it outrun my 283 pickup. <laughs> oh yeah? That's <laughs> it's not super fast, but it's no. quick. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like cubic inches if you want to go fast. Anyway, this is just a short drive down the freeway so you get an idea how it, how it runs and drives. Tracks down the road nice. I went with the wheel. Oh, you didn't have the hands on the wheel? Anyway, we're turning right, right here, so. Yeah, I like this car. It's a nice car. I owned it for many years. He painted it himself, and it's it looks good, but it's got a few little issues in the paint. Mainly because he's a, painted it himself. He's not a professional painter. He's it's better than most of the shops I've seen. And we're back to Drager's Clubhouse. There's our 56 Chevy in the window there, going around. You can just see, this is the right side, you can see how nice it is too. Putting it back in, we didn't get it wet. And there's Kimber. If you'd like to see this 55 Chevy firsthand, just give us a call, 206-533-9600, and 
Andrew would be more than happy to set up a time with you so you can view and drive this beautiful car.